Recovering a deleted file on the hard drive usually involves one of three possible scenarios. The first one is you go into the recycle bin, there's the file, you restore the file and you're good to go. The second one is a logical failure of the hard drive, which means that for some reason the hard drive is, your, the, uh, mach your machine's not able to read the data off the hard drive in the normal way, but the data is still on it. And the third possible scenario is mechanical failure, which means the hard drive is not functioning properly internally in terms of the, the parts that make it spin. First off, if you've got a file that needs to be restored, um, you'll need to go to the recycle bin or the trash can if you're on a Mac and look for the file. If it's there, um, on Windows you right click, choose to restore the file, and that will restore the file to the location that it was before you deleted it. And that's the easiest thing to do. If, if that's all that happens, great. It's a two second fix, you're in good shape. Uh, if there's a logical failure, what you'll need to do is uh, there are several tools that will let you recover data from, file, um, from hard drives that have experienced a logical failure. Logical failure basically mean, you know, again, meaning that the Windows or the OS as normal cannot read the data from the hard drive directly. But using special software, you can still get at that data and restore it. Um, it's the uh, software runs generally from it can run anywhere from $99 to a few hundred depending on how powerful and what brand name that kind of thing. Uh, the third option is usually the worst of the three, uh, a mechanical failure, uh, often denoted by what's called the click of death, um, which is kind of a clunk, 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 clunk. Um, also, if you hear a kind of a laser type noise. Um, kind of a bzzz, uh, that means that's what's called a hard drive, uh, a head crash, which means that the reader head is actually physically touching the hard drive. Not un, you know, unlike on a record player where you want the needle to touch the, hard, the, the disc, on a hard drive you don't. You want it to hover just above. If one of those two things happens, uh, you're pretty much going to have to recall a recovery center. Uh, recovery can run anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. So that point you've got to weigh a very heavy question and decide how much is that data really worth to you. Um, and the easiest way to avoid having to deal with that few thousand dollars worth of backup or with, of uh, data recovery is to purchase a backup drive, backup system of some kind. You can use tapes. Uh, tapes I think are generally best for uh, more larger environments like a corporate environment. Uh, just a simple USB or other external backup drive, copy all of your key files over it to it every so often. That way if your hard drive dies, at worst you lose, you know, a couple weeks worth of data depending on how often you back up.